basically needed help because we didn't want to get evicted. Al principio, uh, primero decía que eran muchas personas en el cuarto. Después dijo que la renta. Uh, yo me negué rotundamente porque era demasiado lo que estaba pidiendo de renta. So, después dijo que no podía cocinar. Pues, para ser honesta, sentí mucho coraje e impotencia porque ver cómo ella, al abrirle la puerta, ella se metió como Juan por su casa y empezó que esto no quiero aquí, trastes, todo, empezó que el tostador, todo me sacó. I felt that the world fell on top of fell on top of us when we received the papers. It was just heartbreaking for me to having to tell my mom, like, you know, this is going on. What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna start? We don't have any money. I felt small at the moment. I felt helpless. So the health and safety violation they were alleging Norley committed was that her family was cooking in the unit. At the hearing, which um, was done over the phone basically, um, the judge at first was you know, looking at their moving papers and said, well, you can't cook in a motel. I said, as I notified the judge, this was not a motel, it was a residential hotel, that they've been there for many years, were cooking for many years, and there was no public health and danger um, issue at all. So we were able to stop the steamrolling of uh, Noelle and her family's uh, eviction, um, and especially during a time of pandemic, it was not needed to go forward that quickly. Tenants need to be housed, you know, we have, local state authorities with the, you know issuing stay at home orders saying how important it is to stay at home well how can you stay at home if you're being evicted knowing that someone was helping us in the, in the in the moments that we needed them more it just felt so relieving we're in a better place now <laughs>